Now let's go back outside to uh, Barber Park. Look at that view. This is from our STEM Action drone. That's the Boise River. And sure, there aren't leaves on the trees just yet, but it feels like spring out there today. Chief Meteorologist Roland Stedham joins us now with a look at our forecast. You know, I have heard about those fat bikes, Brent. Those are the ones with the really big tires that make lots of noise as you cruise down, but they're also able to go on snow. So really cool stuff, uh, very interesting technology that's available and all to get the heart rate up. Something that gets my heart rate going, folks, is when we have sunshine on a cold winter day when it's supposed to be cold, the temperature readings are in the low 50s. It is just incredible out here. So Captain Nick is driving uh, right over the Boise River. I'm gonna continue to turn the camera around and the river is kind of low. You expect that this time of the year, but wow, what a day. And there have been lots of folks out here at Barber Park walking their dogs and just enjoying the beautiful day that we have because it certainly has been a very, very nice day. This is all part of the high pressure ridge that we've been talking about that was going to start building in across the region. And indeed, it is doing that. Let's see what our temperature readings are looking like. Outside right now, we have temperature readings in the low 50s throughout much of the Treasure Valley. Up in the mountains, temperature readings have been hovering right around the 30s range, depending on where you're at. But what's going to happen is that we're going to continue to see this pattern now with the clear skies, light winds, and uh, a little bit of moisture we got on the ground from what happened overnight, we may see some patchy areas of fog developing later tonight and early tomorrow morning. Otherwise, the forecast is looking really very nice through the weekend. So the satellite imagery right now shows what's happening. The storm that generated some of the shower activity for us. In fact, we got an inch of snow up at Bogus. We got an inch of snow up at Tamarack and also at uh, Brendage last night. It's racing off to the east. High pressure is now building in. It's taking over. The storm that you see off the west coast is going to stay out there because high pressure is going to act like a barrier and it's going to keep us on the dry side here for the next foreseeable future, at least through the weekend. Maybe a chance of some storminess going back into next week, but it looks like it's going to be pretty dry. Here's the seven day forecast then for the Treasure Valley. Temperature readings, overnight lows dropping down into the upper 20s. We're going to be seeing high temperatures tomorrow, very close to 50 degrees. Other than some morning low clouds and fog, mostly sunny skies in the forecast through Saturday and Sunday with highs through the weekend, again, right around the upper 40s. Then we could start to see some clouds cruising back in here Monday and Tuesday with cloudy skies on Wednesday and Thursday. Some of the models are trying to bring a little shower activity in here, but it doesn't look very impressive right now. And up in the uh, Long Valley, the forecast for the mountains, we're going to see temperature readings in the 30s. I mean, perfect skiing conditions. Lots of sunshine with high temperatures up in McCall and Cascade and Donnelly right around the freezing mark for daytime highs. With the clear skies, we will see chilly temperatures tonight and some mountain valley fog that's going to be possible tonight and early tomorrow morning. And perhaps some flurries will come back into the mountain ranges here by Wednesday and Thursday. So we may see some changes here, but not until the middle of next week. So here's the STEM Action drone once again, and that of course is Table Rock. And look at how clear the skies are over there. Let me pan over here to the right very quickly. And there's Bogus Basin in the background. So we do have snow in the mountains. We have clear, very mild conditions in the Treasure Valley. And this is what happens with high pressure, guys. When we get high pressure like this, let me pan around. Once again, do you see any clouds in the sky? There's just no clouds, hardly at all to be found. That's because the air associated with high pressure is heavy and sinking. When that air sinks, it does the opposite of what clouds need in order to thrive. They want lifting air. Sinking air creates a cloud-free environment. That's why I think we're going to see lots of sunshine pretty much through the weekend. Brent.